Announcements, December 20th, 2021 is a conference exchange day, new school. December 21st, 2021 is winter break begins, no school. January 3rd, school resumes after the winter break. January 5th, 2022 is the district CDA meeting, 6 to 7.30 p.m. at the uh, FAB conference room A. And January 11th, 2022 is the end of the first semester, grades 9 to 12, and the end of the second quarter for grades K to 8. January 12th, 2022 is in service date number four. There's no students. And on January 13th, 2022, board meeting, organizational meeting, 6.30 p.m. right here at the Fairfield High School, Catherine D. Milligan Community Room. Move on to board member comments. Mr. Shorter. Yes, I just wanna say um, I'm appreciative of everything that's, um, that's happened tonight. All of the presentations were excellent. Um, and of course, Mr. Smith, what you did for uh, our, our outgoing uh, president, Michael Verdon, was uh, fantastic. That is absolutely awesome. If you could show that, everyone, hold it up and show that. Imagine the door that that opens. <laughs> and you know you're going places. It opens you? the door to education. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, but that, that's absolutely awesome. Um, I'm gonna miss you a lot. It's been absolutely fantastic, you know, watching you uh, work and serve the district. You put so much time into um, just being there. And I, I do wish, you know, you could stay a little bit longer, but you've gotta move on to the next thing. Um, the township is, is waiting for your leadership. So uh, thank you for everything. Um, and I'm gonna miss you. And he also mentioned Roger, I was advanced in that because I wanted to just speak to you and your card about diversity, equity, and inclusion and um, in light of our meeting, because this is the last one for you. And that's, um, I mean, we've, <laughs> we've been doing this since 2009 when we started the CDA, right. uh, that long ago. And so I am, um, you know, I'm very proud of the efforts that have taken place, but your leadership on that team and your driving spirit um, really propel that. You. you know, so it, it, that's a big, that's a big loss. Gonna miss you a lot. Um, I know we still have you for a while, but <laughs> that's the last diversity, equity, and inclusion update. Dang. So. Um, but thank you for everything. All the presentations were great. The kids were excellent. Um, Ms. Kennedy was excellent as well. And uh, it's almost Christmas time, so I'm in a, I'm in a good mood. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I'm chatty, a little too chatty. And so anyway, all right. Thank you, Mr. Shorter. Thank you. Mr. Clerk. How do I follow that? <laughs> um, well, I'll just start off where you kind of finish here. It's good as Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, enjoy the time off, kids. Um, Roger, it's been a pleasure sitting next to you, serving next to you, and you've done wonderful things in the district. I know, like Ms. Shorter said, we have a few more months uh, under your leadership, but uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, Mr. Birding, thank you for um, everything you've done for the district before I got here, helping my kids get through uh, their, their schooling and knowing that you and the others are on board. It's a pleasure to be by your side. You've uh, impacted me personally, and I think that thank you for that because it's been in a great way. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to miss uh, serving next to you. So thank you for everything you've done for the district, the students, and the parents. Appreciate thank that. You. Appreciate that. And then uh, again, just Merry Christmas. Enjoy the time off, and um, eat lots of pie. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Gundrum? I'm going to try not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Will it tell me later? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> I'll let you off the hook. <laughs> Mrs. Gundrum and I go back probably 15 years or more. Or right? more, yeah. Oh. You can tell me later. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Begley. Uh, thank you to the equity leadership team, our, our, our freshman speakers, the students that spoke, uh, echoing all the same comments about Mr. Martin. We do have uh, some time left to celebrate uh, was really uh, many, many different accomplishments, an outstanding career within the school system, and uh, a 
I thank you for all you've done. I first met you when my kids came into West as elementary students, and you were the principal there and made an impact on her family immediately. So uh, we will continue to celebrate you. This, however, is the last night uh, that uh, I have the honor and privilege to sit next to this gentleman and, and to serve on this board with him. Uh, your service to the community and uh, dedication is has really been inspirational. It really has. And uh, uh, your leadership has been educational to, I think, all the board members and certainly myself. And uh, we're in a book study now that talks about a culture, and you referenced it earlier, and, and you have to work to maintain a culture, and, and I certainly hope we can maintain the culture that you started. Uh, boards change, and, and so you'll step off, and Abby, who's here tonight, will step on, and uh, very much looking forward to the new dynamic and, and uh, moving forward, but I hope it's a tribute to you that we can maintain that culture and, and, and really what you've uh, led us through the last couple of years. Uh, you were the right man at the right time, that's for sure. Uh, your service isn't over as you become uh, a township trustee. Uh, so our loss is certainly their gain, but uh, I look forward, you know, since of course the school district serves both the city and the township to, uh, to working together in the future. And uh, uh, I hope we will continue our friendship as well. Absolutely. Thank you very much, appreciate that. I, I appreciate your, all your comments. Uh, uh, truly, the, the relationships that we have built together is what's been so great about this board. It's what's made the difficult times bearable. Um, we've had difficult times recently, you know, with the global pandemic. Um, and even when we disagreed on things, we still respected each other and we still cared about each other and we are still friends. And um, you know, being on the Butler Tech Board, you see what other school districts go through. And we're very blessed here at Fairfield. Um, we have great members on this board. I'm just one of them. And uh, we respect each other. And uh, I'll, I'll continue to be around and, and visit and uh, come up. And I, I won't let this be empty very often. I'll come and speak, <laughs> speak my mind, because uh, I'll have grandchildren still in the district. <laughs> and I'll let one school board member know what I think, at least. Um, <laughs> But um, it, it truly has been a blessing. Uh, I, I want to thank the voters uh, of Fairfield for putting their trust into me um, eight years ago um, until my daughter got elected. I was the only member of this board that was elected to their first term. Everybody else was appointed. And so uh, and now uh, with Abigail coming on, she'll be the only member that was elected. But you all have been reelected multiple times, and I think that said something, um, you know, 2013 when I was elected was the last time that Fairfield had a contested school board race. Um, and uh, I think that's great. I don't think, Mr. Shorter, I don't think you were contested after that. I think you were, uh, you and Mr. Kearns were unopposed, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we had some time. But you were, we you were. had contested races before then. Yes, but, um, it was a very different time. I think that says a lot to, to what this board does and, and the leadership that we have. And, Things are running really, uh, running really well here in the district. And so um, I do want to thank, uh, I've mentioned before about uh, looking in the mirror and seeing who helped you get there. And um, obviously um, my wife, Susan, uh, has been tremendous to me. <laughs> when we were dating and we talked about our future together, one of the things we, I asked her was, do you want to have any more kids? And she's like, no. And lo and behold, some seven, eight years later, I got 10,000 more kids. <laughs> you know? And so she had, to, uh, she had to share me with uh, the rest of those kids. And of course, my children have been very supportive. They've made sacrifices. Um, and my parents have made sacrifices, and uh, including my brother's here tonight. And he's constantly picking up the slack for me at work. <laughs> like... You have another meeting? Okay, I'll take care of the office. And of course, my father has always backed everything I did. And my mother's here. And my stepmother actually was an English teacher. And so that's kind of where I got the, the taste for uh, education and, and serving. So I'm very fortunate to have everyone here tonight. And thank you for being a part of my last meeting. And um, I promise the executive session shouldn't be too long. And I can come have dinner with you soon. So, um, But again, thanks, everyone. If you have a chance, go to the FAB 
because everyone has decorated their doors for Christmas and it looks tremendous. So if you have the opportunity, go to the Fairfield District Office and see what they have done. And I do want to say um, I'm very touched by the reception that was uh, given uh, for me earlier tonight. And of course, all the gentlemen with your bow ties. <laughs> awesome touch, you know. Uh, <laughs> that's something that I actually picked up from my stepson. He started wearing bow ties, and I thought that was pretty cool. So I had, I had to learn how to tie it, which I did. And, uh, and then I just started wearing them, and that's what I've been known for. And so thank you all very much for wearing bow ties tonight. It really means a lot. So. <laughs> Uh, so at this time, it is necessary to recess to executive session to discuss the discipline of public employees, ORC 121.22G1. Is there a motion to convene to executive session? So moved. Second. Second. And Mr. Clark and Mrs. Gundry. Any questions or comments? I do not anticipate any action to follow executive session. Mrs. Lamb, you call the roll. Mr. Clark? Yes. Mrs. Gundrum? Yes. Mrs. Shorter? Yes. Mr. Begley? Yes. Mr. Birdie? Yes. Motion passes. We convene executive session at 8.09 p.m. Thank you all very much for joining me uh, and making this a special night. Good night.